Hey, welcome back to another Three Minute Thursday. I'm really enjoying making these weekly videos. Long may it continue. This week, I'm gonna teach you about one of the most important documents in my entire career, intelligence reports. Let's put three minutes on the clock and let's roll. For management to be able to take meaningful action, they need to be informed. And we do that using intelligence reports. In cyber threat intelligence, what I do, you'll see intelligence teams the world over create daily reports, weeklies, fortnightlies, monthlies, quarterlies, annuals, it goes on. And they all should have a few things in common. The most important being the assessment. And let me just jump in and show you my Notion workspace. I showed this in a previous video. I'll put a link below. This is what it looks like. If you come in here and you click on the Cyber Events Database, you'll see two entries here. These are just dummy entries. They're real entries, don't get me wrong. These things did happen, but I'm not gonna populate a massive database that maybe you don't need. So come in here, open up one of these, and if we just switch it from peak mode into full page mode. It's blank and it's meant to be blank. At the top, we've got a short summary. Think about the executives, the people who don't have time sometimes to read all the details. They need to make a fast decision before they go into a meeting or get up to speed quickly. That should always be at the top of pretty much every intelligence report. Then you have an overview. The overview is like the situation. What is going on? What's happened? to create this report. Why are we writing this report? Has someone been hacked? Has something been blown up, etc. The analysis section is really what it says here. Why does this matter to us, to our organization, to me as a person, whatever it may be. If it isn't relevant to you or your market that you're in, why are you even wasting your time writing about it? Forget about it. But if it is relevant, you fill that in here. And this is the bit that matters. The overview, you could just take that from a news website and dump it in there, as long as it's correct. Put it in there and reference that you took the situation, the overview part from some news website. The analysis bit is the bit that is completely custom to you and your organization. You can't copy that from anywhere in the world. You have to write it. You have to understand your organization, your position in the world, and how this affects you. And lastly, you've got actions. So what actions are being taken by you or your organization? If I just go back to the database and go into this Kaseya ransomware attack, we open this up in full page mode. You can see this one is populated. It's filled out to a reasonable standard. This wouldn't meet my standard in my professional world, but to give you guys an idea, this is what it should look like. And it says at the bottom, the Intel team is monitoring for updates from Kaseya on the remediation efforts and watching to see if any of our third party suppliers announce that they have fallen victim to the ransomware. So that's the actions that were taken. Here's why it matters, because it highlights the dangers posed by supply chain attacks in the cyber landscape. By the way, this doesn't have to be just a cyber template. This is just intelligence reports templates. This is a great way to structure these documents. You can add more to these documents, but honestly, I would try and keep it as close to this as possible. So you've got an executive overview, then you have a more detailed breakdown of the situation that's occurred. Then there's the analysis section, which is why it matters to you. This is the bit that really matters. Put the effort into that section. And then the last part is the actions that you're taking. And that is how you structure an intelligence report. I'll see you next week.